<laughs> Welcome back everyone. Today's video is about a new opportunity that I think it can help us, both of us, get some nice little gems that nobody's actually looking at right now. So it's all around the metaverse, gaming and NFTs. Now I've been telling everyone NFTs and games and metaverse are the future. The NFTs already exploded, the game play to earn games are coming. There are already some of them have exploded, like Gala and Axie Infinity. And we have the metaverse that just exploded two weeks ago. Now, these are exploding, and the gaming or play to earn games is gonna be the future. And let me tell you why you need some games in your portfolio. Well, the first reason that you need it because if you get in at a really cheap price here if you if you bought it last year exactly on the 22nd of November of last year you would have bought it for 50 cents so now at 135 we're talking about almost what 500x or 400x or 300x 300x so that's a good earning so a hundred dollars you know would have made you nice easy through thirty thousand dollars now if you bought it at the pre-sale which was on Binance a launch pad you would have bought it at six cents, which is about, you know, 2000 X or something. So that's good gains, but that's not the main reason. The main reason that I like about games is when we had the dip in June and May with the Bitcoin and crypto market, the game didn't give two craps about the crypto market because the players are making money. The founders are making money. The community was happy. It was just booming and booming. This dip, when does this dip happen? Not because of the market. It's because of an internal issue, whether they're updating their economics, they're you know, having issues with the community, whatever it is. But it's an internal matter. That's when it has a dip. But then when I started investing in games, I started investing in uh, Star Atlas. I invested in the Three Kingdoms. Then I invested in um, GGG. Then I invested in Metaplay. But then there's so many games coming out. I can't catch up. Like if I'm going to invest in every single game, because I don't know which one will have the biggest market share out of all of them. Can they compete with Axie? Because Axie, it's a good play to earn game, but the game is a bit boring. It's like strategy. You play with cards. I don't like that stuff. But there are other games or players that they love this stuff, especially if they're making money. So it's a very popular game in Vietnam or Philippines. I don't know which one, maybe both. And they're making around $1,000, $1,200 while they're sitting at home playing this game as scholars. They don't even have to invest. They get to someone and the someone gives them a scholarship and they split it 60 40%. And everyone is happy. So if you think about this game as, okay, this is powerful, this is good. But then we have the metaverse. So the, if the gaming or the play to earn games will be part of this metaverse or the game itself is going to have its own metaverse or the nfts is on on its own metaverse i need to invest in all of them that means i have to invest in the game in the in the metaverse and in the nfts to make sure that i have a balanced portfolio and i'm making uh good money but that means i'm going to make less than less money probably because i'm spread all over one of them will fail one of them will do good and all that stuff but and this is a big, big but. What if I find the companies or the projects that can help these metaverses and this play to earn games and FTs, how to they can integrate with each other? Because I don't think the game itself can do it. You need a platform or a project that facilitate that process. And that's what I'm interested in. Instead of me investing in 100 games and five metaverse and some NFTs and whatever, what if I invest in four or five companies that does and provide the solutions for these hundreds of games to integrate the metaverse and the NFTs and makes it possible? So the pre-research that I want, to know, I want to work with you is I'm telling you now which one I'll do. And in the comments, if you have any idea, any clue of any project that can help integrate this ecosystem then please put it in the comments so i can put it on my research and then we discuss what's the benefits and the you know the power of this um protocol or this project versus the other so the three ones i am uh, considering in this next uh video is engine 
Chainlink and Altura. If you have a fourth, fifth, sixth, whatever, it doesn't matter. The more the better. So I can dig. I'm going to read the, their white paper. I'm going to read their, um, their economics and understand which one has the best potential. And not necessarily we're, go, we're going to go and invest on one. For me, I usually invest in all of them because investing even in four or five projects is better than investing in 100 games and 10 metaverses and numbers of NFTs and, you know, while I can invest only on four, if that makes any sense. So um, Altura is probably one of the good ones. Chainlink, obviously, it's an oracle well known in the space, well, well known in the space, but it has been stagnant for a while. And... Um, Obviously, Engine is another powerful tool that is in the space of integration. So Engine and Altura are in the integration space. Chainlink is an oracle, but I will include it and we can think of something else. If you guys know anything about these kind of protocols or systems, please leave it in the comments so I can uh, include it on my research. This way, we work together. We share our knowledge. And then we comment and we, we kind of try to find these gems because I think it's pretty smart thinking about uh, this whole ecosystem this way. Uh, at least for me. I mean, I'm not telling you to do the same, but I'm, I'm sharing with you how I reached this. Because for me to invest in all of them, it's almost impossible. Because I've seen people that are in the Ethereum blockchain, although with the ETH gas, it's crazy ETH gas, people are still sticking to Ethereum and the Ethereum ecosystem. They're not willing to move out. The people on Cardano, they will not leave Cardano. They just love their ecosystem. They believe in Charles and they will not leave. People, the same thing with Harmony. Even now, now we have Avalanche. Avalanche is booming and people are loving it. And therefore, I don't know which one will work. So if there's a game in Avalanche, like it's better than Axie Infinity. Will people from Axie Infinity stop while they're making $1,000? They got used to Axie Infinity. That's a human behavior. They don't usually like to move out. They're, they're making money, they're paying a lot of gas, and they don't care. It's just, I'm happy with my situation right now. So these are unknowns. So for me to go into these unknowns, I'm going deeper into the projects that actually help build all these projects regardless where they live live in the Ethereum network, or they live in the Cardano, or the Harmony, or the Polygon, or Avalanche, doesn't matter. I'm helping and building all of these hundreds of games. And that's why I think Engine and Altura and Chainlink are the future. Now, Chainlink is stagnant. I can tell you this because I bought it, I think, eight months ago. It did not move like for months, so I got rid of it. But I will include it because I need to read their tokenomics. I see. I need to see why they're not pumping. They should pump because they are the most well-known oracle out there. So if you want to jump on this, so subscribe so we can do the next video together and make sure you give me a comment. If you can dig around, that will be uh, great because you help me and I help you and we try to find these gems. So. Let's do this together and we'll see you on the next video waiting for your comments.